Hey guys, my name is Reese. I'm an apprentice of the master trader, Michael Huddleston, or Inner Circle Trader. Guys, in this video, we got to talk about something that I've been missing, and, and it's the reason really why I've not been successful trading, because it's the number one rule in trading, and it's the number one thing that I have not been, I have not been employing. Um, and even though usually my entries and my price analysis are pretty good, it does not matter if I don't follow rule number one, guys, and what is rule number one? Capital preservation. You must preserve what you have, and it must come before profit. It does not matter if it's $100, if it's $100,000, or if it's a million dollars. It doesn't matter if you were at a million dollars and now you're at $200,000. It doesn't matter if you were at $100 and now you're at $20. Guys, you're at a hundred dollars and you you're now down at 50 bucks your first task is not to get back to a hundred dollars your first task is to keep the fifty dollars that you still have you must preserve your capital and it must always be on your mind and it must always come first every single trade every single freaking trade gentlemen ladies and gentlemen if there's ever a woman that ever watches this for some reason. Your capital must come first. Preserving it must come first. You should never, under any circumstances, widen your stop loss. The widest your stop loss should ever be is your initial stop loss when you first put it in the market. I don't care if you're live streaming to an audience. I don't care if you're like me and I video record my trading sessions. I'm not trying to prove anything to you. I'm trying to make money. Guys, there are going to be times where you your idea is just wrong or your idea is not it's not going to play out as far as you expect it. Notice for example, I'm sitting here I'm trading on uh, paper trading now. Now look. I entered in this price, came here, and I exited right here for a 17 point trade on paper trading. Although the market is probably going to draw down to new sell side liquidity. And that I thought that we were going to come back up into this uh, fair value gap, invert it, and go higher, which obviously didn't happen. But I still made 17 points. You could still make money even when your idea is wrong. That, guys, that's how this game is played. I, because I was trailing my stop up. Guys, your initial stop should be your widest stop and it only goes in one direction from there if I ever see you widening that stop I will personally come to your home and slap the absolute S out of you I mean I will slap you silly if I see you widening that stop boy I'm coming I'm slapping you I'm hitting you in the face okay I'm, I'm telling you right now you never widen that stop ever that stop only goes in one direction, and that's in your profit direction. You need to be a man of iron stops. What do I mean by iron stops? It only goes in one direction, and you let them be hit. Always. Always. You must do the exact opposite of what you've been doing, what I've been doing. You never widen that stop. You only push it up as it goes in your favor. The widest your stop should ever be is your initial stop. Period. Period. End of story. And it only tightens from there. You are not going to hit every trade. Not every trade is going to go to the destination. You are sometimes just going to get the draw on liquidity wrong like I did there. I still came out with 17 points. Why? Because I was trailing my stop up and I was following the rule of iron stops. You pay those commissions, guys. You pay the commissions. If you've got to be stopped out 100 times... Better to be stopped out a hundred times than lose all your money in one bad trade. Preserve your capital. If you are in a thousand dollars of drawdown, doesn't matter. You preserve what you have left. You're in fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars of drawdown. You are in ten thousand dollars of drawdown. Whatever you have left, you preserve that. That comes first. The rules are always the same. The widest your stop loss should ever be is that initial stop. Period. End of story and it only goes in one direction and you let them be hit okay preserve your capital if you preserve your capital and 
you work in all of your ICT concepts, you should be doing really well. Okay, guys? Capital preservation. It should always be on your mind at all times. It must be the number one priority. It has to be. It must be. There is no option. There is no choice. You do not widen that stop. Okay? If I see you widening that stop, I'm coming to your house, to your apartment. I'm slapping you. I am slapping you. I mean, I'm going to jail. All right? I am just slapping the crap out of you. We're boxing. Okay? Don't widen that stop. You hear me? Do not widen that stop. Do you hear me? I'm slapping you. I'm coming. Bah, bah, bah. Do not widen that stop. Don't be a Vinny. All right? Don't be a Vinny. Do not widen that stop. Watch. Watch. Don't widen that stop. Okay? Do not widen that stop. All right, guys. This is my, my quick and short message on capital preservation. It must be the number one priority. Goodbye.